this fight was not fun. Neither was the previous fight with the previous horn. Honestly, if I were to be brutally honest, I actually really do not like the combat in this game. It feels like it's overtuned for speed. seems that I lose. I knew you were strong, Edge. It was really close. You were strong, too. <laughs> it's nice to hear that. Because all... Because all I ever wanted... Well, at least it does feel like it was worth the effort, though not the time. Limel. <laughs> What's wrong, Limel? That look doesn't suit you very well. You dummy phase. You're just a big... Hopeless dummy. Yes, I think so too. Though it's a little vexing to find myself agreeing with you. Uh, <laughs> I lied to you, Kay. Limo? The truth? The truth is... Your cloak? Kinda... Kinda did look okay on you. But only... Only... Kinda... <laughs> Thank you, Limo. It makes me kind of happy to hear you say that. seem that Nox Obscurus has begun to collapse. I assume it is because the energy supply cannot be maintained now that Mr. Faze has been defeated. Or to be more accurate, now that the Gregory that merged with him has been destroyed. That makes sense. In other words, Nox Obscurus doesn't have enough energy left to hold itself together any longer. I believe that analysis is correct, Mrs. Muria. I imagine the analysis can probably wait. You're wasting time too, Aramat! We have to go. Ash! <laughs> Hurry! Come on. Let's go home. Edge. No man left behind. You 
go on ahead, Limo. Edgy. But... Mr. Edge! We'll be fine! Take care of Limo! But... Just do it! Is this gonna be like Mass Effect where some variation in the ending happens? I believe in you, Mr. Edge. Did I go wrong? All I ever, all I ever wanted was to become strong, like you, Edge. No matter how dark or difficult the path, you always came through it, growing step by step. I wanted to become a man like you. Always walking forward. That's nothing. You still can, you know. You're walking forward now, aren't you? I see. That's exactly where I went wrong, isn't it? I needed to keep moving forward on my own feet. No matter how far, no matter how difficult, no matter how painful. You told me that, showed me that so many times. But instead, I grabbed hold of the power I found in front of me. Because my heart was weak, too fragile to withstand the sorrow and pain. I gave myself up to that power and became so proud. <laughs> the story was pretty good, even if some of the acting was a bit stiff. Run! Wait, I thought we couldn't use transfer symbols here. I imagine we're able to use them because the connection between Nox Obscurus and the missing procedure has been severed. Nobody asked why there is air here. Letting go! 
Why are you trying so hard? Don't look at me like that. You're going to be strong like me, right? No, this is Come the stuff on. that makes me cry. We're getting out of here. And then we'll all be together again. Always trying my best to help you. I hope someday a phase edge edge I know you can. Oh, Kenny is still alive. As for the previous announcement, mankind has taken its first steps into the vast ocean known as space, expanding our knowledge of a world shrouded in mystery. More than anything, our encounters with new comrades have been a great boon to our species and represent a symbol of hope for our future. Even so, 
From this day forth, we must acknowledge that we are members of a pan-galactic humanity, all of whom must share in our universe's destiny. I ask you, then, how are we to proceed? In any world, on any planet, there exists an order that must be protected. The collapse of that order means the collapse of that planet. If we have been entrusted with even a small part of our universe's fate, the answer is simple. We must learn the order of the galaxy and protect it. In order to join hands with our new friends across the universe and usher in a bright future, we are duty-bound to engrave a single promise upon our hearts. At the consensus of all on Earth, and as a member of this great galaxy, we now present a guide to protecting peace in the universe, the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact. May the establishment of this pact mark the first step toward a bright and prosperous future. The Prime Directive. And I would like you to know. There was a group of nameless heroes who entrusted us with the institution of this most noble pact. Yes, heroes who paved our way into space with great difficulty, who never watched back down from adversity to the very end. Oh, he's still alive. Do we get an explanation for why? I thought I might tell you about what's going to happen next. Recent events have served to purge the Eldarians' ill feelings, and we now also enjoy friendship with EN2. We intend to foster fine relationships, compensating each other for the areas in which we lack. And of course, we intend to support the Eldarians' emigration efforts completely. Currently, the best option for their emigration appears to be Lemurus. In the distant past, our ancestors spoke of a utopia that we have long yearned to locate, a planet of paradise known as Lemuria. Not long ago, a coordinate signal arrived from our ancestors thousands of years old. We discovered that those coordinates Interesting. Lemurus exactly. 
And that our ancestors who disappeared into space long ago were the progenitors of the people of Lemeritz. Together with our own flesh and blood brethren, we will use Eldarian technology to build a wonderful planet. Also, Lim is distantly related. The missing procedure was suppressed only through the cooperation of both Earthlings and Eldarians. X offers thanks and wishes to continue cultural exchange. Of course, certain limits will have to be set. Earthlings, Eldarians, Morphus, people of Lemurus and Roke. Indeed, all the intelligent life forms we are sure to encounter. I'm certain we will be able to join hands with them as we will be continuing to explore undeveloped planets, your experiences will be invaluable. In the hopes of building a better future for us all, I would like to formally request your cooperation. We can't do that, sir. And might I ask why not? Back yeah. when we first landed on Lemuris, One saving the universe is enough. The people living there, they referred to us as gods. And naturally, as gods, they clung to us. They truly believed we would grant them happiness. Don't you think that resembles the way the Cardianon revered the Gregory as their epiphanies of guidance? Hmm. I have to agree. It is indeed similar. In the end, the Cardianon were destroyed by the very powers uh, granted to them. So we're discussing the, the Prime Directive worship. again. Another planet, one very similar to Earth, was the same. Provided with technology beyond their understanding, they became intoxicated and chose to walk the path of their own destruction. Edge. In all probability, we'll continue to set foot on many more distant planets. But some of them will still have young civilizations. If we were to extend our hands to them it would mean their evolution would cease to be their own it would cease to be rightful it would be warped evolution we would be forcing futures on those planets that they would otherwise have no way of choosing on their own if we continue our space this is exactly the reason the prime directive in star trek exists we ourselves too will be no different from the gregory We'll become like the missing procedure, entities that would cause the entire universe to collapse. I do understand your point of view, Mr. Maverick. However, we are nothing like the Grigori. If we guide these peoples toward proper evolution, our universe will more rapidly become hospitable. Wouldn't that be the best future for all concerned? Even so, I believe that the walking of one's own path is rightful evolution, not being nudged from an outside source. Mr. Maverick. Taking evolution simply handed to you is easy. But if I were to acknowledge that... This is why even in school, you want people to learn at their own pace. I... I would never be able to face FaZe again. All he wanted was to protect everything. That's why he craved that immense power. He had a just heart. A kind heart. But the power was simply too immense and distorted even his kindness. I... I ceased to believe in him. 
But even so, in the end, he understood me. He accepted me. And most of all, he saved me. That is why this is the one thing I cannot allow. I won't let those last moments we spent together go to waste. When we Eldarians emigrate to Lemuris, we will abandon our civilization and all our technology. I promise you. What? Mr. Gagan, you can't. It's all right. Why? If our brother accepted your decision, we can have no complaints. We will begin on Lemuris anew. Well, it is sudden evolution which stimulates the missing procedure. Yes, it is certainly possible we could become the source of that. Very well. EN2 will remain hidden in space, and we shall continue to observe the missing procedure as well. Giotto! Are you absolutely sure? Of course, it's not a problem. You know, X is rather fond of you. Oh. I suppose it would be somewhat puerile for me to continue to persist here. Commander. Very well. We will no longer seek technological assistance from the Eldarians or EN2. We shall have to obfuscate the existence of the missing procedure, and convincing the powers that be will certainly not be easy. <laughs> Indeed it won't. Of course you'll have my full support, sir. There are some good philosophical points of view for first contact. A whole lot of rest. <laughs> mm. Understood. Space date 12. The story of the heroes that saved the universe. A story known only to a few has reached its conclusion. Like, you need look no further than all of human civilization where one civilization trashed another's. I have a very feeling this is a minor retcon, even though I haven't played the other games since this game takes place chronologically first. Like if the other games have you discovering these other races again, that would explain this. Hey, 
At any rate, I feel that the story was pretty good. It's standard JRP fair punching God. Something that you might not have caught unto unless you were watching the names of the bosses, every single boss had a angel type name. Which Grigory is basically angel in Russian. Too, we're about to set out upon their own new journey. Edge Maverick. I didn't go deep diving into the names, so it's possibly they all go back to religious names since like 90% of Names in any language have a religious meaning. Rami Sionji. Sir. I appoint you to the position of Interplanetary Transport First Officer. I am honored, I am honored to, to accept, accept, sir. Phew. I'm sure it isn't easy, but the formalities are important, you know. I'm sorry, sir. It's just this uniform. It's kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> just bear it a little longer. There's someone I'd like to introduce you to. Introduce us to? He's the man who designed the new ship you'll be flying. Come on in. I am. Klaus? Klaus? You must have me confused with someone else. This is Professor Trillis Bakhtai. He's the man who managed to implement the Eldarian Timmy technology women. we received. A living legend of the Terran Alliance. Commander. I mean, President. Please, don't flatter me too much. I'm afraid it might go to my head. You'll take care of the ship I built, won't you? Y yes sir! I, Transport Captain Edge Maverick, take full responsibility for your ship, sir. You two may not have had much publicity, but I've heard all about you from the President. I'm in full agreement with your opinions. Huh? We still have to rely on Eldarian technology for the moment, but my dream is to surpass it someday, with technology developed here on Earth. I promise I'll create a warp drive even more advanced than the Eldarian subspace bubble technology. Besides, no scientist wants a breakthrough handed to him on a plate. What kind of scientist would accept a breakthrough handed to him on a plate? Shh. What is it? Yes, this is probably it's a nothing, relative. Sir. I'm just happy. Really. That's all it is. Edge. Do you think we made yeah, this is how it should be. Definitely how it should be. Hmm. I, Edge Maverick. I, Rami Sionji. We hereby take up our positions as interplanetary transport officers.
Okay, everyone, have you finished your drawings? Yeah, I'm done. Come on, Lim, come on, hurry, hurry! Now, now, don't rush me, Kay. <clears throat> That also explains why people on this planet could do the magic stuff. Bacchus, are you sure? The missing Mimal's procedure ending. has gone silent, and my duty as amorphous has at last been fulfilled. From now on, I wish to devote my life to you. You, who waited so long and so patiently for a disloyal husband such as myself. I've never once thought of you as disloyal. You lived for your duty, and you were my pride and joy. At last, I'll be able to feel your warmth again. Yes, and now that we're together again, I want to bring you more than warmth. I want to bring you heat, Frisia. <laughs> That's not very like you. I met some fine So do the Eldarians or the Morphous represent Space Elsmore? new level of warmth. I see. That sounds truly wonderful. So it was. I first met them while pursuing my duty, during the investigation of a planet called Cardianon in the Arcturus system. <laughs> Tell me about it later. Becky is ending. Who are you leaving this house, Meow? I'm never coming back. I'm gonna be a runaway. Yeah. Well, well. Just don't stay out too late, Alley Cat. I said I'm never coming back. Not ever, Meow. And I'm no Alley Cat. Yeah. Come now, don't be angry, Alley Cat. Cheer up, Alley Cat. Tomorrow is another day, Alley Cat. Stop calling me Alley Cat. I see. Be well then. How unfortunate. I was making grilled fish and roast chicken tonight. Manipulators. Miracle ending. Oh my, oh dear. Why am I so explosively popular? Meow, meow, meow. Chicken, 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 chicken. Oh no, this is not good. In fact, it's worse than when I was with Mary. Legs, back, yeah. wings. Something about those words sounds awfully sinister. Oh my goodness. 
the only feather folk scene in the game. Sarah's ending. Lucian. It took me a while, but finally, I can listen to your last words without crying. In the beginning, all I could feel was hatred. I thought there was no way I would ever be able to find happiness in a world without you. But, I decided to at least try. Thank you, Lucian. Thank you for leaving me your message. And... Edge. Crow. I want to thank you two as well. Thank you for setting me free from my anger and despair. My area ending. So, this is our new ship, huh? It sure is. And this time, it's a ship you earn through your own abilities. I just fell into the captain's chair. Then we met everyone, traveled the universe. Hard to believe it's been two years. Yeah. I wonder how they're all doing. I'm sure they're doing fine. I hope we can see them again someday. We will. I know it. After all, we all live in the same universe, right? It's smaller than it looks. As long as we keep walking, we'll eventually find them. So... Let's find them together, Kalnus. And... We'll be together too, Raimi. Forever. Of course we will. I'd never leave your side edge, even if you told me to. Then let's get moving. Back to the Star Ocean! Raimi's ending. What about Welch?
so we didn't see an ending for Aramid. I guess I probably forgot to do something before going to Armas. I'm kind of wondering if the new game is something I want to play. The fifth game is apparently a PS4 game.
All right, right. No post-credit scenes.